any idea about, any idea about ITGC or IT audits? Anybody? Hey, Karthik and Vikram, this side. Am I audible? Yeah, you're audible, Vikram. Yeah, so actually, that uh, if you talk about the art, uh, art, 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 your voice is very glitchy. Is it audible now? Might be some network issue for my. It's audible, but but there is a lot of clumsiness. Sorry for that. Okay, let me introduce the topics. Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, generally, the domain. What we are speaking today is ITGRC slash in brackets ITGC. What is ITGRC and what is ITGC? So ITGRC is a domain where it speaks about governance, risk, and compliance. So, governance means. Let's say let's let's build up a story. Let's build up a story that will give you the wake about this domain and its and everything. So, let's say I want to start an IT firm. I want to start an IT firm. I want to name it as TCS. So, just keeping the company name and is it enough? Just keeping the company name and all? No, right? So, what we need to do in the situations, first we need to define our business. Whether we want to do development projects, DevOps projects, or testing projects, or what sort of audience we are targeting for in the IT sector, right? So, so in order to run the organization, in order to run the organization, to keep the organization to work in a single track without any deviations, it's called governance. See, uh, we will say simply in, in our daily conversations and all coming to the politics, uh, we used to speak like, hey, the governance is not nice here. The government is not nice here. What is meant by government? The ruling, the path, if at all, in this stage, if the organization is failed, then the whole scenario, the whole business of the organization will be failed. So it's called governance. And in order to, in order to achieve the targets, achieve the goals, anything, if right from scratch, if at all, we are building the building blocks. So there are many scenarios where the opponents of us, of our, our company will throw us into the risk. Suppose as per to our previous example, in the, we will be constructed TCS. So everything was going in line, but suddenly vulnerability attack was happened. Some vulnerability was happened. So if before, if before itself, 
we created some risk policies we created some risk policies like say for example a vulnerability happened in this month but we don't have any clue about the vulnerability we didn't expect it so it will take huge time to recover from that vulnerability if at all we have a proper a proper risk mitigation plans or proper risk assessment techniques then we can able to get rid of this vulnerability very soon that means we need to have a documented documented procedures for mitigating risks so leave this part i will say about it clear about governance and risk can i take your silence as a no can i move forward see one thing i want to say here in itgc if at all you want to get some job in this domain the one and only requirement is communication skills if you are you've been like this silent you can't able to crack the jobs 100% i can assure you i can assure you that is governance and risk definitions are clear or not clear sir so, it's clear it's clear so next basically basically there is a person called a he is starting textile business there is a person called b he is starting it solutions a person called c he is starting restaurant so here the strategies and the steps what the person a will take to get succeed in this textile business is different with the person b who started the it solutions so the the scope of the business is different and the steps what these persons these two persons will take to achieve success in their business will be the different so let's say let's drill down what are the tasks that a need to implement to develop his or her business first step to get raw materials every month on third second to get minimum turnover of 20 lakhs so these we can call it as controls these we can call it as controls or the checkpoints so coming to b what might his controls one for every new hire need we need to provide access to the system on the day of joining itself and to regularly we need to check the access 
which are assigned to the new hire is updated or any revocation happen same so here so here these are the checkpoints which was matriculated by the textile owner textile manufacturing business owner so these are the controls which was matriculated by the person who is owning the it solutions so here the part where we commit the action is see one person was appointed by this textile uh, owner a and he appointed person called person naming ram this ram's duty is here ram's duty is to check the given checkpoints are satisfied or not what's the roles and responsibilities of ram just to see whether these two checkpoints are satisfied or not that means every month ram comes to the office or ram comes to the industry and he checks on fourth that the raw material which we need for the production of the next month is came to industry or not and second thing this month minimum turnover is 20 lakhs or not if at all it was less than 20 lakhs he finds out he asks why was the reason why the turnover <coughs> why the turnover <coughs> why we got 1 lakh difference in the turnover what we fixed and what we gained this is the job role of ours but here we will do in it sector he will called as it auditor he will this auditor that means us we will check these controls whether they are working properly or not and we will give some reports and we will give some reports to the senior level management if at all we found any failure in these controls clear about our job role what we will do do, do you guys understood what i'm saying yes 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 got some clarity sir hello yeah sir i have one doubt sir yeah uh it is including financial statements everything also finance also deal with no. the anti finance no 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 okay, okay sir because... so here so here one interesting point will arise like from where organizations are matriculating these controls from where these controls are actually taken from these controls are taken out of iso international organization for standardization it's a framework it's a framework so in this framework in this framework they clearly mention that they clearly mention if at all any organization wants to be iso compliant then the organization need to abide some controls there is a document there is a iso document where there are approximately 93 to 94 controls including technical controls organizational controls and people controls so by taking the reference of iso framework organizations will create the controls like this and we are the persons will audit in a periodical manner for 3 months or 6 months or 9 months or yearly and we will give the report to the managers what's the status what's the exact status of the control whether it's working properly or not we will test this control we will matriculate 
some risk mitigation plans if at all any finding or gap we saw in this control everything will go like that so till now any doubts any doubts hi kumar hi so to, uh, as you're uh, saying like it's controls and all right uh, so yeah. we have any uh, application sort of thing to control these things or uh, it's in completely in a documented way following them and uh, reporting them any in such type of way the work goes or any uh, no there, there won't be any application there won't be any application kiran okay. we will it's not application level or it's application level or it's or different that we'll go through in the next sessions it was purely process oriented itgc is always deals with process orientation the name itself suggesting information technology governance controls how the change management is going inside the organization how the access management is going inside the organization so for change management there will be certain set of controls or rules the change management process much must, must abide so as an auditor we will check as an auditor we will check whether the change management procedures are aligning with the sop or not and some auditing techniques are there we will check like that okay clear okay. yeah yeah and there will be no uh, i mean like uh, as an it auditor there will be no of giving access i mean like giving permissions to the new joinee uh, the access things are like nothing will be like that It's just to following the documents and verifying whether they are uh, Uh, going question, I didn't understand your question. What's access? You said about access. Can you please follow me? Uh, yeah, yeah. You just verify the access controls and all, right? So, for example, if a new joinee uh, get an access to an application, something like new application or a database. So, whether you access give permissions on such type of way it goes. We won't give any permissions. We will okay. audit in access management how the access management team. is providing access to the new joining whether it's need based or rule based there are multiple things it's not uh, like it's not like say it's one cup of tea we need to be aware about vulnerabilities okay. vulnerability audits we will do okay okay got it thanks can you give reply in the chat box am i audible yes you are audible yes see uh, i'm saying kindly the people who are fearing to speak better don't think about the jobs the two id jobs because see how much theory you learned how much practice you did but you didn't communicate it well you can't able to grab the opportunity that to for sure that to in it auditing the theoretical things will be very less let's say in the whole day you need to attend four to five meetings daily in this domain if at all you want to make career you want to shape your career in this definitely you need to speak that's the main criteria got it got it so let's get back what is how how this field was evolved and what's the back story so once upon a time there is a huge banking fraud huge banking fraud happened in us huge bang fraud was happened in us so at the time suburbans and oxalis two persons suburban and oxalis these guys 
matriculated a law combinedly stating that each and every company who is doing business with the involvement of public money they need to they need to provide a detailed audit report detailed audit report on their financial controls annually and they need to submit to the us government what's that act sox in this act what this act is saying those businesses where the public money is involved they need to submit a detailed financial control audit report which was done by an external party external party and that need to be submitted to the us government so what's this act is saying those the companies which are listed in the stock market those companies need to produce a detailed financial control audit report here a word external party which was done by external party and that report need to be submitted to the us government right so here you'll be get confused who is the external parties and who is the internal parties i will say so every year the company started giving their financial audit reports to the courts and all to the us government so later on because of this globalization and the raised internet usage over the from past years it it became like everything was disclosed right everything was disclosed so what is the main motto of the socks complaints act that came into the action the main motto is to reduce the fraudulent crimes to reduce the fraudulent activities of the companies but here in the 21st 20th century every financial transaction maximum it's going through the online that means indirectly applications right so what if the financial controls of the organization is very up to the mark so we can't able to beat that but what if the online portal or the net banking or the applications what these companies are using to do the financial activities what if those applications are compromised what if those applications are compromised is there a chance or not is there yes, a chance always. for that or not yes always so from them they started they included one part in the sox complaints called Four hundred four A and four hundred four B, where it's stating that you no, know, along with these financial controls, along with these financial controls, the organization need to submit the IT controls as well, the IT controls audit report as well. Here in the IT controls, there will be change management. access management vulnerability management threat management everything and point security everything all these process need to be audited 
and it also need to be included with the SOX report and it need to be submitted to the US government. So like that, the origination of SOX complaint started. So where it is related to ITGC? Where it is related to IT audit? Simply in US or in, in international global wise, you'll call it as SOX 404, A or 404B. But in India, we'll call it as SOC 2 report. Clear? See, if at all you'll be silent like this, I'll stop the demo because it won't, it's useless right, for you and for me, right? Whether I need to Please. think like you guys are not, Hello? you won't be able to understand. Hello, we are getting it, we are getting it. Uh... Okay. So Hello? here we saw an interesting term. Hello. Called... Hello. Sir, hi, sir. This is Sairam. Yeah, Sairam. Uh, sir, actually, I have a doubt. We need to audit for the financial controls or for the particular uh, general controls. Like, uh, we need to we need to check that uh, financial I'll, controls. I'll come to that, Sairam. Okay, I'll okay. come to that, Sairam. Okay, okay, thank you. No, what I'm saying is, because mm -hmm. all the things, sir, came, like, uh, previously, uh, if at all, we go to some restaurant and all, just we used to give the money. But now we are doing phone pay, right? What if, what if, the, res the restaurant financial controls, uh, the phone fee financial controls is very well. They are doing very well versed with their things. But what if the applications were compromised? I'm not saying the financial transactions are compromised. I'm saying that what if the, the place where the financial transactions are going on, what if the systems are corrupted? What if there's a vulnerability attack in that company? So that's why US government ordered they implemented another clause 404A, 404B by adding the IT controls as well. By adding the IT controls as well. Here, we will check. We won't check any transactions. We won't check anything. We will check purely the process. How these environment is secured. How secure this environment is. How the, what is how the organization is going on. What are the security controls they are following? What are the security protocols they are following? So it will be like that. Clear? That's great, sir. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. So here, it's called SOC2 report. So then, yes, yeah, it's nice. SOC2. Why it's two? Means there is a prefix for this. SOC 1 deals with purely financial controls, purely financial controls and SOC 2 will deal with all the controls other than financial controls. SOC 1 deal with purely financial controls and SOC 2 deal with all controls other than the financial controls. That means it will come on, comes under IT controls. ID controls majorly. So SOX report, SOX complaints report is a mixture of both financial controls and ID controls. But in India, majorly we used to bifurcate these two. SOC 1 is purely, it's an audit report of finance. SOC 2 is purely audit report of ID. Clear? Like this. So we you need mean to so you mean to say here SOC 1 is completely financial and banking sector, correct? Not banking sector. If at all, um, you are there and let's say you are TCS. Yeah. Let's say I'm Bank of America. I am giving a project to you. Okay. I'm giving a project to you. Am I, are you doing, are, are you providing the service for me for free or uh, are you no. charging something? Yeah, you people are... Uh, we are charging it for uh, the services which we have provided. There is a financial transaction, right? Yes, yes. 
every organization will have, will have a financial transaction right so it it means All, uh, vendor vendor uh, inspection kind of stuff correct third party vendor when when we no. are giving work we need to cross verify that that is that will comes under the sock one not precisely if at all you listen okay. class fully then you'll get some clarity okay every Thank company you. every company will go through some financial transactions right so those yeah. financial transactions are all calculated yearly yearly by cpa chartered public accountant he is responsible for this financial audit sock 1 is purely about financial audit sock 2 is purely about it audit financial audit will conducted on the financial controls of the organization right. it audit will conduct on the excuse me sir sir yes sir sock 1 financial control tell me uh, exa any example tell me uh, and also start to start to also uh, an example with me what do you understand about sock one any any example uh, tell me sir no, no, i i am asking you what is sock one according to previous discussion what i did what is sock one sock one financial financial controls right uh, sock two uh, another financial it controls can you example any one. example yes control one let's say for example okay annual turnover balance sheets debts these are financial controls where it won't be in our regiment it will be directly dealing with cpa cpa will audit this and he will give the report he will give the sock report sock one report so coming to the id controls these are these will comes in the our regiment where it's all it controls so i'm just uh -huh. giving the side headings there will be lot lot more controls in this change management itself we will have uh, more than 15 to 20 controls so let's say uh, it's purely based on it systems it's purely based on the financial things of the organization or the client's budgets and what's the whole turnover how the money was transacted is everything is fine or company is going through losses or all the reports it will be dealt with dealt by cpa there won't be any it auditor will do sock one it's very rare it's purely finance so we'll do our work in the sock two it auditors we will check whether this things are going in a right manner which was uh clearly prescribed described in the sops or not whether they are following the proper norms which was created by the organization or not so all these things will do is this example help you better to understand sir i have doubt sir yes sir i got the point yeah copy yes yes uh, sir look yeah sir actually the risk management then you know, what about the risk management sir Which in which it comes to that SOC two SOC two reports it's, or we can in the SOC two. It comes under SOC two. It comes under SOC two. But okay. IT auditors clearly I'm saying it. IT auditors won't do the risk assessments. Okay. There is a separate department called risk management team. There is a certification for that called C risk. IT auditors will do CISA. If at all you want oh. to shape your career in totally risk management. then you need to do sir risk so here in sock 2 in our itgc we will we will check on top of that we will check risk we will do risk management audit okay 
we will do the audit on risk management how the risk management team is performing we are all okay. all all like what will we say we are the soul makers of the company even though they are developers they need to come to us even though they are testers they need to come to us because we are the persons we have the authority to say that you are doing wrong you are violating the uh, control what what exactly you need to do you violated that okay. so that's why we are we, we will be treated with immense respect if at all i need to say this totally governance so, yes exactly exactly uh, so yes somebody yeah, yeah. it's okay say i can say with example and i can get clear of it all so suppose for example there is a tester who uh, was not updating his uh, test case sheet in the share point or something like that so okay. that can also be on uh, reporting thing like for an it auditor we won't go we won't go to the tester and we won't ask all the time so in the 3 months there will be audit period the periodicity of the audit whether it's a 3 months or 6 months or 9 months or yearly we are doing so in that in that we will follow some random sampling methodologies to audit or to test the controls if the person or the process is violating the control which was already predefined by the organization and it's clearly mentioned in the sop then it will be treated as audit finding okay clear yeah yeah, yeah. Like, it will be happen like this until and unless we, we, we won't go to anybody's desk and ask we we'll yeah. get the period we if at all based on the periodicity we will do, do the audits yeah yeah because uh, yeah. actually i face this uh, when i'm working like that it's because i have a three third month i face that so quarterly happen okay yeah so this is all the vague details about it is easy very vague so let's say uh i will say small example uh then we'll move to the doubts part so what is the major difference between internal and external auditors means let's say there is a company called amazon they need some application support service from tcs right then how amazon how amazon will trust tcs and giving such huge project to tcs how what's the criteria for amazon to give the project to the tcs what's the criteria or what the what are the steps that are involved if at all i want to i want to give huge project i want to give a great project to you guys then what's my expectations and what is the criteria that i'll see in you to give the project hello yeah yeah Uh, sir first of all i will check iso certified and data security that comes in second part okay sir. firstly here what we will check is um in the scenario amazon will ask the tcs people to give you a detailed audit report on all the process and procedures and the mechanisms that are going on in your organization in tcs so then tcs people will say that sure we will produce we will we will make sure that we'll give all the detail information about our id systems and the security protocols what we are using inside the organization then see if your tcs employee is doing audit in tcs to get the service from the client definitely if at all some even though there is a miserable things there is no proper security inside the organization even though he observed that he won't 
he won't consolidate all these flaws of the organization in that report because he is an internal employee of tcs he wants he wants his organization his organization need to get this project right or wrong if at all i am working in my organization i need to give soc2 report of my organization or i need to audit my organization definitely i'll do some favor if at all there are blockages in security reasons or in some other aspects some other aspects some other aspects i won't showcase all these things in my audit because at the end of the day we need to get the project from the client right so there will be a partiality then amazon will reject why it will reject means it will ask simple question hey tcs he is the internal employee of yours so how he can do the audit and he will produce the audit document or audit findings unbiasedly because he is your internal employee right? so we'll do one thing i will send my employee to your organization and he will check your process and he'll audit your security posture and he will give me the report see it's simply like coming to your home coming to your home without your permission or with your permission i am coming to your home and seeing everything and i am coming to my home might might there is a chance right i can implement or i'll copy your designs there is a threat for tcs right if at all a third person from amazon is coming from their organization to my organization and he's seeing all the process and procedures and the security postures in my organization and he's going simply we don't know until and unless until and unless he confirms the project we can't able to take that assurance that he will give the project to me right in the market there are many application support service providers are there so what if he came to my organization and he audited my organization and he gone back to his go went back to his organization and he gone to another organization he found security measures very better over there and what if he given the project to that there is a security or some processes of tcs is exposed to to the outsider person right so this scenario tcs people will also see as a threat so here both the parties amazon and tcs will sit together and they will ask the external company or external organizations like deloitte kpmg like this evi they will ask they will ask one of the persons from these organizations to come and audit tcs and to produce the tcs security postures as said right he is not belonging to amazon and he is not belonging to tcs as well so now the report is very independent in nature very unbiased in nature basing on the report amazon will decide whether to give the project to tcs or not clear yes it is yes sir clear uh, sir i have a question simply if at all you want to remember yeah yeah so in this case uh, the person uh, like yes. example deloitte or evi or somebody else so they have to come to the client location and work yes exactly they need to come to the client's office they come to the client's office and they to the amazon they won't work for months and years they come for a week mm -hmm. your audio is your voice is breaking sorry your voice is breaking please repeat that sir and they All, all, all the process. So not able to hear you. Completely breaking. Sir, your voice is not audible. 
will call all the for what controls they are doing the test sir still your your voice is not audible sir and now am i team am i not audible hello uh, you are audible now but we lost you for you know couple of minutes no am i audible yeah yeah yes yes so so you won't come to the organization for a month or two weeks or three weeks like that you will just come one week or it will it might take maximum two to three days and the process owners or the processes or the things what you want to audit those process owners and tls or managers they'll come to you and they'll give the walk through after that you you need to audit on that that's that's case of external I may answered correctly to your question. Can I expect some reply from you? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Got it. Got it. Yeah, but external if external auditing is very different, and internal auditing auditing is very different. Like, uh, you 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 will understand what are the differences in our upcoming classes. Yep. So, in this in this TCS and Amazon example, the external party will come to. TCS and he'll audit the TCS and he'll give the report to Amazon. That report is called SOC two report. That report itself called SOC two report. Clear? Clear. Clear. Yes. Yes. So, so, so in that in that case, SOC two. So, do we have any checklist kind of standard checklist, or do we have to prepare manually the entire? we will we'll have the checklist we'll have the controls list not checklist we'll have total controls list okay got it hi kumar i have a wonder after completing yeah. the audit how can we can report is there any tool is there or we will create a word document for that there is no okay. tool such it's okay. it's purely it's how can we say it's purely like It's a manual work. Yeah, you can report in Excel, right? Or MS? No, we will report in Word. Reporting oh. means we will create the reports in MS Word, and we'll send that report to the clients or to our managers. Got it. any doubts all good dear sir so far um uh, there will be any uh... so everyone everybody why yes yes yeah kumar yeah yeah kiran So while reporting to client, uh, is there tell me, tell me, Kiran. Directly, they will be reporting to the client because uh, it's. Is there uh, any? There will be any protocol between the client and uh, IT Actually, audit. Actually, because uh, in ex in external auditing, you are asking or internal auditing, you are asking. In external auditing. External audit. We will we'll get the samples and we'll do the walk through. After that, we'll test the controls. We'll audit the controls. we will right. once discuss with our manager after that our manager will send that report to the client okay come on yeah so everyone after joining this course and after joining this class this demo everyone will ask one dot will be same for each and every person the main motto of this class is to get the job after this course or to to get placed so first thing uh, i want to show just right now just try open the naukri and just see how many jobs were there because i am showing it because everybody everybody will ask the same same questions like is there any openings 
it might any openings will be there so like everybody will ask two to three members will have this doubt that's why open now and i'm showing see it audit i'll teach sox complaints there in the subject risk management is there in the subject id risk is there in the subject id gc the main subject was sox 2 reporting sox 1 reporting information security see sox 1 and sox 2 audits it gc it audit sox auditing sox see grc it audit it risk cyber security iso id gc sox csp see in pan india level we have this much and mainly if at all you given your concentration and you sat for uh, 25 to 30 days if at all you kept 4 years of experience based on your package it will be 30% or 50% hike 30% max 50% means if at all you get any offer with 30% then you can bargain for 50% hike so this is all about the demo any doubts so far Yes, I'm a uh, first. Let me introduce me. My name is Pramod. Uh, I came from complete non-IT background. Uh, from from past thirteen years, I have been in uh, pharma sales and marketing. Okay. So, how do you recommend you this course? If at all your communication skills are good, if at all you can able to sit for two to three hours a day, so okay. you can able to keep up to four years of experience. Uh, you can able to showcase your total thirteen years of experience in. Somewhat support or something, and you can ma mask four years of four years experience with ITGC with this course. I can guarantee that. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, but uh, external auditor, which, which, at the moment, the internal auditor is just like that. Malay in external auditor, which, 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 ఎవరో పక్క నుంచి అడగమంటున్నారు కదా వాళ్ళని అడగమని పర్లేదు సరే ఇప్పుడు ఎక్స్టర్నల్ ఆడిటర్ వచ్చి వాళ్ళు ఇవాల్యుయేషన్ చేశాక ఏదైనా మిస్టేక్స్ వచ్చినాక మిస్టర్ కంపెనీలో ఉండే ఇంటర్నల్ ఆడిటర్ మీద ఏదైనా ఎఫెక్ట్ పడుద్దా ఉద్యోగం పోద్ది ఓకే థాంక్యూ ఓకే ఓకే ఆ హై ఐ మీన్ సీనియర్ ఐటీ ప్రొఫెషనల్ విత్ మోర్ దెన్ 10 ప్లస్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐటీ ఎక్స్‌పీరియన్స్ is okay, it somehow yeah. possible is it possible to somehow get a senior role or some uh, equivalent role based upon my experience or i can target previously which domain experience. you are in previously which domain you are in i'm into system administration so like tech support right uh not exactly a tech support i'm basically uh into delivery of the it basically the delivery manager you can say that simply you can able to get because you have a huge technical base right so the things what we lack in idgc is idgc is purely functional it's it's up to for manager roles and all so the persons who are having core technical knowledge and somewhat they worked in technical like system administrations and uh, let's say technical support and all so there is a leading edge for them more than more than this uh, what will you say the people who are just coming and giving experience so it will make huge difference for you if at all yeah, so uh, Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I can, on. I can, I can target for the senior roles and moreover, I can target the big fours. Is it possible? I can target the big fours uh, based upon you the skills. You can, you can, you can, because see, uh, we, I won't. Literally, there is a four pillars. We can call it as an IDG RC. So up to one complaints, ISO the second complaints, GDPR. so and pca ds is somewhat some other also their frameworks but mainly will concentrate in soc2 iso and gdpr so it's a deadly combo no one will do all these three so definitely you will be picked so based on your previous experience you can able to drive the interview in a technical manner so you can you can if at all you ask me you can yeah so probably this course will also allow me to uh... i uh, have a real time experience so that i can i can be confident enough when i when i will show all my work what i'm doing in such an organization that's why all these people can able to move the experience right with the theoretical knowledge if at all i want to say in the 10 days i'll i'll finish the batch just i'll take the iso framework and i'll explain each and everything theoretically like yeah for if at all you say 
the servers count the uh, the servers need to be decommissioned after uh, for every 20 days or 30 days let's say it's a control but these guys won't know how to audit that control right right so, i'm right. making so, sense uh, so i yeah, show the yeah, auditing process sure. and auditing procedures what we will follow inside our organization so one one additional thing before i uh, call my part uh, the one of the major thing which is coming this way is cloud governance which is very which, which is very much in hype in the market which is way different from the way uh, the the physical hardware used to work so uh, will you have some topics related to that in this in this uh, curriculum no, in this course not at all okay okay we'll touch okay. because because we are dealing with application security right it will be huge uh, for experienced candidates like you can bear that but the freshers and the people who want to uh, shift from monedi to id it won't be that much feasible to them so it will create huge burden because uh, this is very typical like saying gdpr complaints iso complaints and soc2 complaints itself it's huge topics so we didn't include any cloud security things in this Okay, okay. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you for Yeah, tell me. Uh, so after completion of this course, in case if I get the if we get the job, will we have to go for the any support, or can we handle on our own? If at all you sat for the classes very well and you understand each and every topic, what I said, you can able to do. It's not a mm. rocket science. You can able to do. For okay. three to four years, you can do. Aram se you can do that. Need not take any support. Not that much needed. First, don't rely on the support, guys. Mm, first, yeah. learn the course. First, learn the course. Understand the things. If mm. at all it's not that much compatible, then then go for the support. Hmm. Good, good. Don't fix your mind to support first. First, mm. learn the course. It's all secondary things. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hi, sir. Good evening. This is Sundar. Yeah, Sundar. Sir, may I know the daily activities of uh, as a internal auditor, sir? Daily, I mean, roles and that, responsibilities. That all will be covered in the course. It won't be mentioned. It won't be displayed in the demo, Sundar. It, it all. It will. It everything will comes in in the course, but okay, sir. Okay, we won't say this in the demo. Yeah. Any doubts? Or let's find up for today. Uh, sir, one last question. Yeah, Jim. Yeah. Uh, so, what is the ITGC scope coming years? Like next to ten years. Yeah, you can replace the DevOps, in your view. Yeah, I'm yeah, asking. Course, yeah, it it may happen. It may happen. So in DevOps, in DevOps, right? Yes, yes, yes. Then in development, yeah, possible. can replace the developers. Yes, sir. Possible. So this yes, this question has raised because of this AI. So this yeah, yeah, this what, auditing that's what, that's what, is yeah manual well, auditing, right? So, yeah. Right. Yeah. So even the AI came, the audit will. Shift that already. Yeah, audit also started. So auditing is evergreen. It's evergreen. But here we need to be very cautious with the communication. Communication is very much important. Not the technical knowledge. Just you need to speak what you want to. Just the functional knowledge on the technical domains is very important in this IDGC, right? Understood? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, do we have uh, any demo tomorrow as well, or uh, directly? We are I think doing... yeah, tomorrow is also there. We are planning. Ha ha. Okay. Yeah. So the course duration is uh, forty-five days, right? Thirty to forty-five days. Thirty to forty-five only Monday to uh, Friday. Yep. Okay. So, uh, do you um, help in uh, resume preparation also? So, if you want to, you know, if you, if you want to, we will to, make you know... the resume. We will do the yeah. resume preparation. We will help in the resume preparation. We will do the mock interviews as well. Oh, okay. Yep. Thank and you. What would be the timing of the course? Uh, it will be discussed with uh, Mohan Garu once the batch is finalized. Okay, Andy. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Excuse me. Hey, Gopi. Yeah. 
uh, for example, uh, if you t- if you took the SARS, for example, on the on the change management, uh, you are dealing with uh, only basics of the change management, or uh, what are the evidence, or else you will take the uh, some uh, examples from what from your previous experience. We will do the. We will. We won't take any sort of professional judgments like what you what you're speaking about, like previous uh, experience and all. We won't do that. For everything, we won't do. Even we won't do the basics all as well. If at all we we done the basics, how the client will understand that? There are many things which are involved in change management. SOS statement of applicability need to be there because change management is change management is taken out of the ISO standard. So the change management need what? Either let me finish or you speak first, Gopi. Yeah, I finish. Actually, no. I'm not talking about change management. I'm talking about for, if you are dealing with, for example, to dealing with only basics like what is change management. We won't deal with task. basics. We won't hmm. deal with basics. We will audit the controls. If the control is is about network security, we need to audit the network security. Auditing means don't just doing the basic check. it determines your organization stability your process stability and the efficacy of the control implementation it's not a small piece of work the single paper single sock to report can shut your company off the single sock to report can raise your company's value in the market like anything got it Yeah, I got it. Thank you. So now I have it, sir. Yes, sir. I'm. Sir, actually, I'm not. I'm not from the technical background. Thing. I'm. I'm totally from uh, non-IT background. So okay. even I have a gap of one year. So, if you suggest me that, uh, can I go with this course? Like, uh, if if I go with this course, then uh, how can I manage with my one one year of course? How can I fulfill that? Fulfill that. The last two points I didn't understand. Is it preferable for you? You ask that first thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking. The second question is that how can I, uh, you know, uh, cover up my uh, one year, one year gap? You need to keep fake. Okay. Other than that, is there any other possible way that you are thinking? No, right? We, yeah, no. We need, to, we need to put up the papers. That's it. First thing. Second thing. Mm-hmm. If at all you can able to, your zeal is to learn. For thirty to forty okay. days, you can. Okay. Won't you think like uh, just now? I didn't done any magic. Just I showed the naukri. You saw the openings. Why mm-hmm. shouldn't you think like you need to? You can, right? Okay. So we can, but yeah. you know, there's a problem. Is like there is a you know uh, we can easily they get it out like uh, in a in a background verification they easily found that we are not from that particular. So in the company they do ask like statements, uh, you know. PF number and everything, so that's my uh, you know. I tell you about that. Till now, yeah. Uh, these these things are discussed with Mohan, please. <laughs> okay. I'm not here to. It's it's recorded and it's going to YouTube, right? <laughs> okay. My voice is familiar to all over the IDGC audience. My voice is very familiar. They know where I'm working <laughs> as well. So don't screw up my job, okay? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Want to do all these things. Just speak with Mohan. Got it. Mohan Garu. Sir. Uh, yeah. Sir, I have one more question. Like, uh, if you're conducting an audit and from the so on to control, if we found any kind of deficiencies, then does we have any kind of authorities to? No, yeah. Uh, all these things. All these things we won't say in the demo, right? You're asking <laughs> the endpoint of the audit. How I can say in the demo? If at all you join in the course, I'll say that. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Uh, will you provide the interview question, Shashu? We will. We will, Raghu. Uh, so this interview question may be senior year, right? So our job is on senior year basis. So. Based on the real time. Okay. Oh, so. Yeah, let's wind this session then. Let's meet tomorrow, same time I think. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Thank you.